In this video, we are going to install some two and a half inch SSD drives into our QNAP TS-1886XURP NAS. And what are you gonna need? Obviously, you're gonna need the NAS itself. You're gonna need some SSD drives. You're gonna need your bag of screws that came with the NAS or ones that'll fit a two and a half inch SSD drive if you've lost those ones. And a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, to get started, we want to unlock and pull out the drive bay that we are going to be using to install our SSD drive. I'm going to start at one end and work my way back. So I'm going to start over here. Now, I don't have any SSD drives in here at the moment, so it doesn't really matter unless I have a strategy as to which ones are going where. I'm going to use all of them uh, and fill all of them up in this video. So it is not a problem. If you'd already used some though, it's easy to use these three. Uh, just make sure you pull out the ones you actually need you don't want to risk affecting whatever's on any of those others. So we've got our drive bay. We can see where our screw holes are for mounting our drive. So we just need the drive now. I'll whip that out. So that's it. And we can see here we've got our screw holes on the bottom of our drive and also on the side. Uh, so it's the bottom ones that we're using for mounting into these bays. We want to ensure these pins on the bottom of the SSD are pointing towards the rear of the bay so that when the drive goes in, those pins actually come into contact as they should with the pins on the inside of the NAS. So we want to line up those screw holes. So again, looking at those bottom ones, we want to line them up here to ensure our pins for the SSD are all the way at the rear. We don't want it in here at these other screw holes you have the pins all the way back here that's not going to come into contact with anything so line it up pins at the rear using those screw holes and then we want to screw into that so only four screws for each drive and then we can just go ahead and make a start on screwing them in now they don't need to be super tight just firm uh, you don't want to damage your screws and make it difficult to get it out in the future if you need to replace it. That's it. We're all screwed in and we're ready to go. So we'll just take that. You can see on the top here, we've got the top of our drive visible. Uh, we're firm, we're not moving. Make sure this piece is unlocked. Um, that's, that's basically our key to be able to slot it in. And then we can go ahead and just slide that straight into the bag there. And clip it shut and it's now locked in. We can move on to our next drive. So I am going to go ahead and do all of those now. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.